hello everyone welcome back to the tech bag and you also have a very good evening to everyone so let's get started with the six core concepts of a ba so in the last video we have checked the introduction part one and we have covered the structure of babok guide in this one we will look at the second chapter the first part of the second chapter that is a core concept model and look after each of those six core concepts and understand how does a BA perform in his day to day task. So let's get started and let's look forward on how do we use this in a day to day basis. The core concept model is actually is a conceptual framework for a BA. So one who wants to understand the BA task or the business analysis task, the core concept model is a well suited and well established in a way that he would understand what does BA do and what BA look like. The other one is if you are a BA and you you want to know how does a perform, how does a task is performed and what are the steps that are involved. So you also would able to know using this core concept model. So what BA is meant to those who perform BA analysis. So it also helps you understand that how does and how this particular BA is meant to you as a business analyst. That is business analysis is meant to a business analyst. So the six core concepts will define the, the six key areas in which the BA would work. And the reason I have posted this on a, on a screen is you don't have a sequence in doing those but you have a relation in between it can start from any of that uh, key, co key concept but might have a relation to one another like you can start with the stakeholder but you would have a relation to that with context or you would start with the value and you would have a relation to needs so the six core concepts are interrelated to each other you cannot skip any of those and if you start with one probably you need to end with all then only you will complete do a ba task but it's not that mandatory you will start with the first one it's up to you what's priority and then you can kick start and then you can perform that particular task but actually what does this means what is a change what is a need solution stakeholder value and context we'll look in the next slide so need change solution stakeholder value and context are basically the core concept what we have understand but what is a need so suppose i want something to be happen or i want some problem to be faced so the problem and the opportunity is identified by needs so need will define a problem and an opportunity the change is nothing but transforming that opportunity or problem into a into a kind of a thing we can say or into kind of a task we can say is a change so change is a transformable format or transformable form of a need is a change what does solution means a solution will satisfy all the changes and would give a result as a need so solution will have all the values satisfied as a need right then what are the stakeholders the stakeholders are the one who actually request or actually uh, have that need to be brought into the picture so the one who identifies that need and says that this is what we need is said by the stakeholders what happens when you satisfy all those needs you will be given or you will be adding a value to the stakeholders it can be tangible and intangible either it might be direct or indirect direct you can compare by using monetary terms or if it is indirect then probably reputation or the standing of an organization would actually add the value to the stakeholders the context is a part of a change and that would also satisfy a need so for example let's take an amazon example so amazon wants to uh, amazon sees that there are there, there are so many competitors around the market and india is a bigger market where we can have a tackle and we can get a huge market share now the change for that is they need to bring that uh, website or then to create a website for India people called dot in and that would help Indian to buy a products on that particular website. The solution is to build a website and it should be only related to IN so that it can be related to India and the currency would be uh, in INR. So I would go to currency later on but coming to the website it's clear that should be IM. 
the stakeholders are nothing but the amazon ones who actually wants to sponsor this one and they decide on how this website will looking what are the things that would be coming on what are the products that will be selling and they would Uh, not only be the stakeholders of the amazon but the stakeholder will also be the retailers uh, the vendors the small retailers the, the manufacturers these are all stakeholders now they collaborate they decide and they, then they do a plan what what value they are adding they are giving products online for the users to buy second thing they are also providing jobs for the employees in india that's the second value they add on to amazon the third context is nothing but it's a small part of a change now for example the website is india so it will accepts only inr and the language would be either hindi or english or the currency would would can be changeable it can be usd or inr as well but the context will say uh, it it's like a small part of a change a small part of a need that satisfy a very well and it's like a granularity of that particular need this is all about the explanation but let's see what is an ex exact uh, definition in the book so the change is the act of transformation in response to the need so what need is if we make the transformation then that's a change what we have looked after the need is a problem or opportunity to be addressed what we already looked the solution is a specific way of satisfying one or more needs in a context right we are doing that we are satisfying one or more need stakeholder is a group of individual or a relation to the change and the need and solution so the stakeholder are nothing but who actually raise the need and they have a relation to the change and to the solution as well the value is nothing but the worth the importance the usefulness of something to a stakeholder within the context that's also right context the circumstances that influence are influenced by or provide understanding of a change so for a area probably in india for example if you have certain limitation to not to brought a product on to the website then that particular comes under context suppose in india if you are only acceptable uh, payment using google pay not through credit card or not to debit card then the google pay would only be available on indian websites then that's where the context comes so it depends on region demographic geographic and <coughs> also monographic and also how the behavioral content work for a culture and for a region and for state and country so that's where the context come into picture now let's let's look at some more things so when you working as a ba and you are in a project now and you want to perform all the core concepts so the first thing whenever you are in a stage of uh, finding the changes that need to be made the first question you would ask is what kind of change we are going to do and you will ask this question to the stakeholders so what kind of changes are we are we looking to make so that's the first question you would ask <coughs> the second one is a need so what are we trying to satisfy here so when you meet to the stakeholder they get, they, told, they tell you what are the things that they need but you would ask in a reverse way that uh, what are we trying to satisfy if that is satisfy then probably there should be some problem so you will identify the problem statement and then you will say that okay to solve that we need some change now the solutions while doing a solutions we would also say that what what are we trying to achieve or what 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 are, what are we trying to create or change within that particular thing that comes under solution question mark and while doing a complete stakeholder analysis to whom to be involved in this then probably you will ask a question to your project manager or your project team that who are the stakeholders involved for all the decisions to be make while doing a value when you are when you are with the stakeholders you would say that what are the value you would be adding to the stakeholders uh, with respect to satisfying a need or with respect to doing a change so that comes another as a value the last one would be the context that we need or the solutions that are in so is the solution satisfying all the context and is there anything that would also help for a for a solution to be adding a value to the stakeholders so all this are interrelated it it's not a rocket science that you would you would need to remember everything at once but it's a way that you will understand uh, that this six course concepts is a complete ba structure each and every thing is related to each other and that's where you learn the core concept and that's where the things come into picture so i would like you to 
watch my previous video for all the BA related stuff that roadmap to a business analyst and also the ECBA certification part one introduction where I have made a video just to understand how the format of Babok guide is and what are the things we're going to cover in the future. So this video is a part one for second chapter that is a core concept model. So I guess you have like and understand this particular content and stay tuned for more such videos. We'll be covering all the chapters in a section wise and bringing all the content and make you available uh, to understand it and also to apply in your day to day as a BA or if you want to be a BA in future. So thank you so much for watching and please subscribe and share. Thank you.